Hi everybody. My vlog today is about uh, silent screen actor Rudolph Valentino. He died on August 23rd at the age of 31, 91 years ago this week. And for 90 years now, his fans have been meeting every year on the date of his death at his uh, gravesite, at his uh, tomb, at the uh, Hollywood Forever Cemetery. And uh, this year was the 90th memorial anniversary. I didn't hear about the uh, service until the day after, but I did visit his um, gravesite a few months ago, and I took these photos and videos, and I thought uh, this might be a really nice uh, uh, time to uh, share it with all of you. It's uh, very easy to find his tomb. You enter through the front gates of the cemetery, make the very first left, and just follow the street all the way until the end, until it starts curving around, around the lake. It'll be on the right-hand side. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see the uh, Cathedral Mausoleum. The lake will be on the right-hand side, and the uh, mausoleum is on the left-hand side. These are the entry doors here, and you have this large uh, uh, area that you enter, and then you'll see the corridors on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. This is the chapel area here, and this is actually where they have the service each year. So uh, you make a left, so you enter the front doors, you make a left into this corridor, which is the last one on the left, and you go all the way down to the end, and then we're gonna make a right-hand turn here at the uh, stained glass window. And you see another stained glass window, and just to the left is uh, Rudolph Valentino's uh, tomb. But to the right here, you'll notice uh, Peter Finch's, actor Peter Finch's uh, tomb, right across from uh, Rudolph Valentino's. So it's right at eye level, and uh, as you can see, it's very easy to uh, find and visit. Valentino was the uh, sex symbol and heartthrob of his generation, and because he died at such a young age, he became the uh, James Dean of his generation. And that explains why he's uh, still uh, remembered and visited today. So when I was there, you know, like I say, a few months ago, I wasn't really sure if anyone else would be there, but there were lots of people uh, visited, visiting his grave, and uh, there were flowers there, and uh, uh, it's uh, still a very uh, popular uh, destination of his fans to this day. In 1922, four years before he died, uh, Valentino married Natasha Rambova and they uh, honeymooned in Palm Springs, California. So uh, I'll do uh, another vlog about that in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section, share it with a friend, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see other videos like this in the future. So see you next time.